One, two, three, four, five. It is now time for our main event of the evening. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. Mr. Brown, and oh, I'm so excited. And this just has all the makings of dynamite. Welcome to the Scrap and Roll MMA Podcast. Peace, peace, peace. Welcome to the Scrap and Roll MMA Podcast. I'm your host, Sky. Damien in the building. And we got CJ. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? You already know we're going to hop straight into it because UFC 281 is a wrap. And there was a whole lot that took place. And we got to get into it. The last episode, you know, we put our picks out there. This is, I mean, in my opinion, this is the best card of the year. Like, not only did it like stay, like everybody made weight, everybody showed mm-hmm. up, but they were bangers. Like if if you were if you were a better and you were betting first round finishes, I mean you cleaned up because majority mm-hmm. of these fights were ended in the first round. Like they were. Absolutely... I, heard, I heard they set a record too for that, right? The most finishes yes. in the UFC pay per view card. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that whole... that was money well spent right there. If you bought right. this card. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm like New York got it good today. I mean mm. they got it real good. So then um mm-hmm. Yeah, so starting it off, Carlos Uber got it done with this vicious knockout. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a real good fight. How did y'all feel about that? I mean, for as long as it lasted. Oh, so man. it was it was good. It was funny though because uh, I can't I I can't say the guy's name, but he was like, "Come on, let's fight. Let's fight." Because uh, Oberg was circling them, he was throwing leg kicks, and the guy mm-hmm. caught. And he was trying to get him frustrated, and then look what happened. <laughs> mm-hmm. He yeah. got slept. And so he was the first fighter um, on City Kickboxing. So you know, you think yeah. City Kickboxing is starting it off right? You know, Uber yeah. getting the finish, um, and then rolling into the Julio Arce and Montel Jackson fight. How do yeah. you guys feel about that? Uh, it was a good fight for Jackson. I picked wrong because I had picked Arce because yeah. I know him and he can bang. Mm-hmm. But uh, Jackson went out there and was grappling and he put on he put on a good show. Yeah, look good. I don't know too much about him, but me either. For him coming in and being on the early prelims, mm-hmm. he did his thing. Yeah, but it's dope because this is what this this type of card is about, right? Even the little yes, smaller sir. Players, you don't really know. They get to make a mm-hmm. name and they made a statement. Now we know him. <laughs> now we're gonna be looking out for him, like, hey, I know a dude. You know, yeah. Martel Jackson. Dope. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> and then uh, right after that, Michael Trezano getting it done against Choi. Man, this fight was nasty. Nice. I told y'all. Out. I told y'all I picked Trezano. <laughs> I don't yeah. remember who it, I picked for that fight. Uh, I think you had Choi, because my girl had Choi also. Did I? I don't yeah. know why I don't even know him. <laughs> yeah, get your shots up. Get your shots up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen, I ain't taking no more shots at all. At but all. Let's talk about that fight for half a second. We don't have to do too yeah. much, but that thing was a banger, though, wasn't it? It really was. Oh, yeah. my really God. Was. Choi was hitting him with them left hooks. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was not playing. Like, and it finished. There's only nine seconds left when he finished Choi. Like, the whole what the, round. What round what was it? Say? The second round? First round. That they, first round. Oh, it stopped in the first round? Yes. <laughs> Oh man, I felt like they was fighting for a long time. <laughs> it really did. It'd be, it'd be feeling like that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Cause they was I hitting was, each other hard I, as hell. Did you guys watch the Carolina fight? Yeah, mm-hmm. she did her thing. She showed I really that she wasn't was watching it. that one. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's she just showed that she had more. Uh, into the car. She had more uh, experience, like we said before. She just has way more experience. She was mm-hmm. grappling her up. She was beating her with the hands. She had her back a she few was, times, just punching her up. Yeah, she was fighting. She was fighting an MMA match for sure. Mm, That's why yeah. I like her. I feel like she's well rounded, and she's been up there with like some of the top of the top. So yeah, I exactly. figured she'd be able to. I figured she would be able to hang with old girl. But did you see the uh, the scorecard mishap where they were taking forever oh, to, yeah. to come out with mm-hmm. it? What was yeah. going on with that? I don't that know. was I've that never was, seen that before. 
Ever. Everybody, everybody was confused. I saw like Joe Rogan looking confused. Yeah. Uh, I think Dana White was in there, like asking people, like, "What's going on?" Yeah, that was wow. weird. I've was never weird. seen and that before. It, and then for it to be like, I feel like if it if something like that happens, majority of the time it's like a split decision mm-hmm. went one way, but it was a majority decision too. I was like, "Damn, what, like, <laughs> did y'all did y'all flip flop? Y'all like, oh, she won. They're like, no, nah, actually, she won." <laughs> right. Right. So now think yeah. about that. So how many fights were like, hold on, what are you guys doing? Like, what are you seeing? What are the judges doing over there? Then they're, they're messing up so much. Like, you, you just erasing numbers and just putting your own numbers in there. What's going on? For real. It's like, y'all messing at this point? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, no, really. Like, who messed up? Y'all had to turn back around, like, come out there, start yeah. retallying the scores. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> that was weird. Yeah. 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 That was strange. Yeah. But that was she took strange. it. <laughs> she took the W. So. Hey, that's all you need. She ain't, com- she ain't complaining. <laughs> right. Facts. Um, Yeah, like I said, I-, I wasn't really, like, focused on that fight as it was taking place. I didn't get to watch much of it. But Matt Frivola versus Ottoman a- Azatar? Mm. Listen, Azatar. Uh-huh. Azatar. That was a nasty knockout up against Oh, I need to go fence. back and watch that. Yes. Oh yeah, there's yes. hella knockouts like this. And and the knockout was just nasty. Look at him. Bink. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Hold Set on. him down. I think I went for Ottoman. I picked the steamroller. Oh, you did? Yeah. I did and good on this correct. card with picks. Yeah. I picked the steamroller. And boy did he oh. roll through him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he did. <laughs> Cause he's a vet. He's been in the league for a long for a long time. He knows he knows how to fight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think the only time that I seen him fight was when um, McKinney knocked him out with that one two in Phoenix. Oh yeah, I remember that. I was yeah, there for that. yeah, and so that was my last memory of him. So when I seen him up against Ottoman, who has nothing but knockouts as well, mm. I was like, oh man, Ottoman's gonna take that, you know. But boy, that was a vicious, nice little That's knockout. Uh, another first yeah, round knockout. It's a level like of competition it, is a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I love um, when the fighters like respect the fighters that they lost to, or mm-hmm. or or vice versa, right? McKinney knocked this dude out, and now McKinney probably watching this fight, seeing old dude knock dude out, so it makes him look even better, right? Because he was the right. one that 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 finished him super quick like that. It, it's dope to see like other people rise because of what other people how they are performing. If right. that makes sense, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, because I feel like with this win, McKinney's. Uh, stock just grew a little bit, you know? It really did. Mm-hmm. It really did. Um, I'm excited to see who he's going to fight next, too. I know he wanted to fight Patty, but looks like they're going to Oh, yeah, be... I did see that. I did see yeah, that. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, but he might have got something, but I can't remember. Um, Andre Pet- Petrowski versus Wellington Terman. Um, Andre did his thing. I mean, he out-wrestled him, out grappled him. He beat him up. He yeah. beat him up the whole fight, yeah. Yeah. Like I was at a fo- uh, at a football game, so we had the the on the mm-hmm. phone, trying to watch both going on. Uh, yeah, but Petrosi, he did his, he's kind of tough, man. I like yeah. him a lot. But And I thought that it was interesting. Like, he outgrappled him, and Terman was the black belt. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I remember and, hearing that, too. And so then, you know, Andre Petrosi right now is, like, in his whole bag of, like, calling out Bo Nickel. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and mm. so, I don't think he wants that smoke just nah, yet. Not he the, thinks not he the wants Bo that Nickel smoke. smoke. <laughs> he thinks he wants it until it's too late. <laughs> See, but I don't know though. But this is MMA. It's not just like, oh, we're about to just go good. and he has. But who has he been fighting? Petrovsky been in the UFC. This is his what third fight? Yeah, third win. And he's too. been looking good. Yeah, he's been looking good. And the contender series, not the contender, but the um Ultimate no. Fighter series. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. That's a lot of experience in the octagon. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? It does make a huge difference. Um, and speaking of that, speaking of Aaron Blanchfield versus Molly McCann, hey, Damien hit it right on the head, didn't he? Hey, he said it per- I was I was at the game and we were watching mm-hmm. it and we were like, damn, she beat her. I'm like, Damien had this one perfectly. Perfect. Yeah. He did exactly what she said he said he was gonna do. She whooped her ass. I mean that, I feel like that's just like the kind of game plan you gotta go in there. You know, I feel like that's the smart game plan versus a, a Molly McCain, a meatball Molly, 
<laughs> you know, and she just went out and did what she had to do. And psh, honestly, embarrassed old girl. Hey, honestly, yeah, she did. it was crazy because, like, I, I said last week, I was like, if Molly's takedown defense is up to par, she'll do all right. Her takedown defense was not up to par. First of all, when she got her into that crucifix, it's a that was when a you get nasty down. crucifix. Crucifix is my favorite way to end. Mine it too. just it just it just seems so dominant. Like can like it reminds you of like I don't know if you guys have older siblings, Scott, but like huh? you, you know who does it the best? Who? Valentina, Valentina. Shevchenko. I know, yes. I know, I know. <laughs> Facts. That's a, that's a signature. That's when I think yes. of the crucifix. That's who I see in my mind doing yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but you're right but, what you're saying, Sky. That's a big brother, little brother, little big sister. Yep. Yes, and somebody just holding you down and you can't do nothing about <laughs> mm-hmm. it. Like that was so gangster. And then on top of like when she got the Kimura, like um I was we were watching it and I was like um because Danny and I like you know we been training in jiu-jitsu and so mm-hmm. she knows how to do the kimura but we practice doing the kimura from guard um and so i was like walking her through i was like no like that kimura is not locked in until she steps over her head when she stepped over her head i was like molly mm-hmm. you better tap it's you about to be tap. a wrap that it's about be to gone. be man yeah. broken you ain't, you, I was like, throwing, back. you ain't throwing those molly meatball haymakers anymore with a broken shoulder like that off of that kimura <laughs> at all and then aaron aaron gets up and brushes her shoulders off i was like oh the disrespect that was so gangster that was so gangster and then molly went over there and and picked her up and started cheering her i was like yeah Yeah. (laughs) real recognized real and our old girl did that she just she ran through her like if she was nothing she really and blanchfield is super young i think she was like 23 or something like that she's young as hell yeah yeah i love she has a good future young fighters Mm -hmm. That was another thing that I was talking about throughout the whole card as we were watching it. Like, statistically, 70 to 75% of the time, the younger fighter wins. Um, And those are just stats. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And so as we were going through this, literally every younger fighter uh, almost won. Like, when we get to Dustin and uh, Poirier, Danny was like, oh, you said the younger, huh? On no, this like card, in general, that's... like in oh, combat in general? sports okay. in general, like 70 to uh-huh. 75% of the time, the younger fighter mm. wins. Um, yeah. And so like, as we start going through this, like pay attention to their ages. And I was yeah, like, oh shit. I so when, do Dust- when Dustin and Chandler came up, even though it's like a small age difference, I was like, mm. uh, Danny was like, ah, the age. And I was like, yeah, I know. Um, and then, oh, poor Dominic. Uh, <laughs> no, Dominic. not Dominic. Hey, Superman did his thing though. Oh yeah, Reyes. Yo. What I tell and what I tell you, Sky, I told what? you he's not yep. mentally ready. He's not mentally ready. He's no. not. Listen, Ryan Span looked crispy as hell on the feet. Was piecing him up prior to the knockout. I know. I told you. Oh. <laughs> he's I, he's I not like mentally not giving, ready. I feel like people not giving en- enough respect to to Span for doing that. Uh, they're not really talking about Span's performance. They're talking about yeah. Uh, uh, Reyes is performance, you know. Yeah. It's, like, yeah. it's it's not really fair because we didn't see what Dominic Reyes is capable of, regardless of like the recent losses and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, and for Ryan Span to go and do that to him to a you know a challenge contender, mm-hmm. I mean a, a title contender, like, bruh. Yeah. In the first round. It's in the first <laughs> two minutes, minute and a half, minute and forty yeah. seconds, or however yeah. long. But look at it. That, and Ryan is six five, and he's big, and he's athletic, and he got them hands. Mm-hmm. And that ain't and no, he missed weight. That ain't no TKO. Yeah, I know that sucks. Uh, oh, did he miss weight? Yeah. Yeah, by a oh, pound and a half, that. I think. Mm-hmm. Damn. Damn. Yeah. And he knocked he him out with a jab. With a jab. He got but the thing exactly. is, exactly. Reyes ran into it. His face was yes. coming yes. in, and he boom. Yes. And then the overhand. So could, it was. Yeah, you could double yeah. that power. Yeah, you walk into it exactly. Like that, you double, yeah. you double in that, and I'm it, sure it, it ran was straight into it too. It really. Was. Oh yeah. But even prior to that, the exchanges that they were having, like even though it was only a minute, like into the fight, the exchanges they were having, Ryan was mm-hmm. cleaning him up. I was like, mm-hmm. damn, I right. bet Dominic was in the in there. Like, wait a minute, I thought I was supposed to be good on the feet. Like, <laughs> nah, right. he was cleaning him up. Yeah. But you know what? I think it is too. You know how Dominic is super athletic. So is Ryan Spann. They can move, yeah. and they're both big guys, and they're both tall guys. And I think he just ran into somebody who has just as much power, just as much speed, and he's a little bit bigger. He just got to the point right before and put his lights out. 
I, I yeah, feel bad for him, man. That's a lot of bad losses for him. Bad. All three yeah. knockouts. Mm-hmm. Bad ones too. Bad ones. Not even, not yeah. even like a TKO. Yeah, that ain't no TKO. No. That's a knockout. <laughs> those, are, those are bad. And and I can I, imagine I how question. hard that is coming back from that. A year and I a half always, later too. I have a question. Do you think that he can go down to 185? Uh, Reyes? Yeah. How, how uh, tall is he? He's 6'4". He's 6'4". And he has a he lean not... frame, though. He already has a lean frame, and he's fighting yeah. at 205, so I, I would say probably not. Mm-hmm. If he did, if he was able to get down to 185, I don't think he, I don't think he would perform well. And at this point, the chin is gone. So now if you cut weight, the yeah. chin's going to be but, like glass. But he ain't going to make it at 205, though. These guys are too big for him. And that's They're just what I'm too saying, strong like, for him. I don't know what to do with him next. That's what I'm saying. Like, I was, I was getting ready to ask, like, like, is it that time for Dominic? Like, is it was he, is he just that guy that was this close to beating John Jones and, like, that's his career? Like, who else Man, is he going to fight? That was number 12. Mm-hmm. That sucks if that happens. Yeah. You know, if that's your that's your Al Bundy moment. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what's <laughs> next for Dominic because, and he took a year and a half off after those two back to back knockouts, and then to come back out here and get starched in the first round, like bad. Yeah. Damn. I, See, but yeah, that's the thing is, go ahead. He's real good. <laughs> he's real good. He's very athletic and he can move in and out, but it's like you can't take those L's like that. Like that. If it was no, a scrap yeah. and it was back and forth and we see some good and it's like, but he'd be looking like he about to damn near die in when he gets yeah. knocked out. It's sad yeah. to see. Yeah. Yeah. And again, again, like we're we're looking at Dominic Reyes, I guess his performance, right? But these dudes are just killers, you know we what got, I'm saying? Yeah. And they might they like might be just a little bit better. You know what I mean? Especially because they got that confidence type of wave because they're moving up and up and up, and this dude kind of moving down. So it's like, oh, Dominic Reyes, like, oh, I'm going to eat this dude. You know, and mm-hmm. if you if you talk to a lot of these fighters, like, confidence is number one in these fights. If you don't have the confidence there, you're not going to perform very well. You know what I mean? And some of these high-level fights, like when we see, like, a Dustin Poirier and, and Michael Chandler, like, both of those guys are pretty confident in themselves because of who they've been fighting and, and the dubs they've been taking. You know, and so when you see people get hurt really bad like that, they're willing to fight through it. They're trying to, you know, they're trying to shake it off as quickly as they can and keep pressing forward. So, yeah, I think with just the back-to-back losses like that, it's kind of like confidence confidence is draining a bit. And then on top of that, you're right. on top of that, you're fighting up-and-coming killers. You didn't already watch their tapes and seen their resumes and shit, and it's like, damn, should I take this fight? All right, I'll take it. You know what I mean? Type of confidence. Rather than right. like, oh, give me anybody, I'll, I'll fight him. So, like, who would you put him up against next, though? I don't know. Ryan Span was what ranked twelve? Twelve, twelve at that. He time. In the top ten now. <laughs> I like Span though, man. Like I said, I'll I like go for the black too. guys. Yeah, dude, yeah. dude looking strong. <laughs> he looking like 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 Santos, Thiago Santos, strong. And I don't uh, know Sky, what. They, with the hammer on his chest. <laughs> yeah, no, he's Thor's with PFL uh, now. He got cut because yeah, he, yeah, he yeah, lost. Yeah. What's um Iwan Kutalaba's ranking? Can you see it on there? He's not ranked. He fights this weekend. He's not ranked. He fights this weekend. Mm-hmm. So maybe if Reyes can come back, no matter what happens in this fight, mm-hmm. maybe he can fight him or uh, I, don't I don't know, know, man. He needs to take a long time off. Yes. But he, I, like I, he I said, he. He already took a long time off. Exactly. He already come off a year and a half. I mean, it, it's going to be tough. We'll see. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure he'll fight another fight. And if he doesn't win that fight, it's a wrap. Like, it's a wrap. Like, you got to let it go. Because when you start yeah. losing to, like, people who aren't ranked, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, that, even behind him, least... like, I don't see him beating Jimmy Crude. I don't see him beating Khalil Roundtree. I don't see him beating Justin Deco- Jacoby. Like, mm. Justin Jacoby like... will... I feel like I think that'll be a good fight. Be a good fight for him. Who? That too. Khalil versus Reyes. I feel like that would be a good one. Khalil going to Jacoby too. Him. You think so? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's giving him no. <laughs> Listen. Hey. Because that but, chin, that chin is tanking yeah. now. Yeah, it's it bad, bad. You know, 
three like back to back knockouts. He needs to fight a wrestler. That's like when you break a cup. And you try to put it back together, it ain't never the same. It ain't never nah, the same. Gonna, you could probably put water leak. in it. It's, it's fragile. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Exactly. It ain't never the same. Yeah. You know. So, yeah. yeah. That, that's bro. that's tough. It's sad. Um, it's sad. Oh, and you Five know one ranks? more. Damn. You know one thing that I just wanted to go back on? I forgot which fight it was for. But it was for this Michael Trezano fight. Did y'all see the double knockdown? Yeah, that was like yeah. Rocky. Were they both? <laughs> <laughs> like that was crazy, Wait, bro. That's it was amazing. the same exact sequence. They both landed the same punch, yes. hit the ground at the same time, did the same got technical back up get at up the same at the same time, time <laughs> and then looking at each other in the same stance. Like I was right. like, "Damn, this is this is as high level as it gets." Shit. Yeah, I'm like, "Oh shit, there's a glitch in the matrix." I just had to <laughs> hey, I was that just about quick. to say that. I was about to say that. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Yeah, literally. Like, if if y'all did not watch that fight, go back and watch that fight. Um, like we said, it's it was amazing. A first round fight. knockout. Yeah, yeah like it All felt like a lot happened. There. And that fight, yeah, that Choi fight in Trezano, like aside from the double knockdown, um, and then it ended in a knockout. Like they were both getting the better of each other. Like mm-hmm. they were both blasting each yeah. other. Yeah. Sorry, I just happened to think about that double knockdown. I was like, wait, which fight was that? Um, and then your boy Brad Riddell. Hey, I I I, I messed up on that pick. Yeah, I went with Moicano. Yeah, he looked good. Yeah. What did I? Do? I don't remember. I think I went with Moicano. Yeah, I, I, think so. I can't remember, but Moicano got on the mic, was going crazy. <laughs> Joe Rogan, I love you, Joe Rogan. Moicano <laughs> wants money. Hey, he started talking to, to himself in third person. I was like, okay, man, that's what I'm saying. And normally he's like a real quiet type of guy, ain't he? Like mm-hmm. I don't feel I don't feel like I ever really heard him talk like that. But it's you're right, me too. Like what like like what I've been saying though, like that once that confidence starts growing, you start beating these guys, you start shooting up the rankings, bro. It's gonna come out and then that's when you start to really shine. And yep. that's how I feel about Conor McGregor. When Conor McGregor knocked out Jose Aldo, it oh, he done mm-hmm. shot up to the to beyond the stars. You know what I mean? Right. And, his confidence I was hated through, that the roof. <laughs> yeah. through the roof. And you could see it when he was fighting, too. And that's why I feel like that's where he got a lot of his fans from. Like, mm-hmm. you know, hitting hitting uh, Alvarez, putting his hands behind his back, like, talking right. shit to him in there. Like, that's just dope. People people live to see that because it's the fight game. You know, so it's cool to see him take this W and then start talking and stuff because it's going to – I feel like it's going to it's gonna bring more light, more more eyes on him to see, like, what he's going to do next. When he's, yeah, because he's, he's, he's been here for a while. Mm-hmm. And he's going to start fighting these killers now. Mm-hmm. And, you know, especially because he was at 145 for a long time, so now he's, uh, you know, up at 155. And remember we were talking about how he had fought Junior Dos Santos in that last-minute fight, flew in from mm-hmm. uh, flew in from Brazil, hurry up, cut weight, and got absolutely destroyed in that five-round mm-hmm. fight. Um, but you know, he's been having a, a pretty good run at 155. So it'll be good to see him like do better. Like, I'm just trying to see like how long he's been in the UFC. Cause he's been here. I know he's been here for a while. Like this is all the way back. And so he's been here since 2014. Oh, that's yeah. a while. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like he's been yeah, around. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. What's his record? He 17 is... and five. Yeah. 17 and five. So that's a good record, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it, it really is. I mean, and he's like lost to like Junior Dos Santos. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people going to lose to Junior Dos Santos. Aziz. No, Ra- Rafael. Sorry, Rafael. Rafael. I was about to say, oh, he's a beast. Then. <laughs> 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 yeah. Man, he done fought in all the weight classes. <laughs> yeah, he's different, <laughs> right? That'd be scary. But um. But yeah, I was excited to see him. You know, Brad Riddell ended up posting uh, saying he's going to be taking like he's not saying that he's retiring, but he's not about to fight for a long time. So he's taking like some like a year to two years off. He's like he's just not in love with fighting anymore. Um, I don't know. He if always fucks my picks up, man. I always go for him, but he always messes them up. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Who does? Brad. Brad Riddell. Oh, I wasn't going for him when he fought Jalen Turner, though. No. No, but I'm just saying, he just always comes up short. I'm like, bro, come on, man. You're better than that. Right. Right. And then yeah. Dan Hooker and Claudio. I had, I had went with Claudio, but, man, I listen, I didn't know Claudio was going to come out there and decide that this was jiu-jitsu and butt-scoot the fuck around. 
going hey, on? I was like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like, come on. I, you got to set up a little bit of striking to get your takedowns yes. in. Like, yes. Even uh, Damian Meyer tried harder than that, you know? And we know what Damian <laughs> Meyer are going to do. But at right. least he tries harder than that, like. But, but he also, did me, almost get the knee bar. He did almost get the knee bar. Oh, that looked, a couple that, times. That almost don't count, though. Yeah. Hey. You can almost do anything. I almost knocked out of Sonya out with the first check left foot. You know what I'm saying? Because, <laughs> hey, Alex, Alex, uh, uh, Pedetta was getting real close with that left foot a lot of the times, you know? Yeah, we're going to get to that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's like that, where it's like, hey, we got to give respect to Dan Hooker, the hangman. That's the hangman. Come on. It ain't going to be that easy. Come on now. So you know, me and Damien picked Hooker on this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. He yeah, did his shit. He... Hey, man. I, I was like, yeah. man, even though he been, he, 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 he kind of like, uh, old dude that we were talking about was kind of like, uh, Dominic Reyes losing, losing mm -hmm. to these high level guys, but uh, he's still a bad motherfucker. And I saw it yeah. still, you know? Yeah. And, See, and I was just, I was just about to say that is that when you fight the top of the tops, when you get back to these mid tier type of dudes, your level of experiences is so different. It's way it's different. Al you didn't, it's you almost, didn't fought the best. It's almost good for you. Yeah, it's almost good yeah. for you, bro. That, Win or you lose, the, the ex exactly. Yeah, yep. you learn from that shit and you start improving. That's how I look at uh, Robert Whitaker losing to Adesanya, you know, and now he, look at him. He's the gatekeeper. Can't nobody fuck with him. <laughs> He's like, it's like you adding notches, to into, it's, you get notches into your belts. You know what I'm saying? Is adding, like, skill points, like if you're in a video game. Even if you lose, you're getting better. You're getting taking in data like oh i'm not gonna get but claudio he wasn't he was not a threat at all i was like bro you got to do a little bit more than that it's like he didn't want to fight more. at all yeah exactly. this is not a grappling match, my guy. yeah it was yeah. like and it, it looked like he he didn't want to be in there anymore he wanted to get out out of there yeah mm -hmm. and, Facts. And I, I i feel it bro <laughs> I, I, I feel you on that the yeah. hangman looking at you that's a big motherfucker low-key like he was he may yeah. be skinny but he tall and lanky as hell and he knows how to use that shit so yeah and you know when you're and, a grappler and not a striker you knew what you signed up for yeah and yeah and if you notice earlier in the fight dan was throwing those front kicks early in the fight too stabbing yeah. him early in in, in the midsection mm -hmm. And he took him out with that in the, what round is that? The second round? The second round, yeah. Yeah, toes hit him right in the sternum. That don't never feel good. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like we saw one of those um, knockouts not too long ago. Uh, I can't I can't remember who it was, but they kept on that stabbing, that stabbing teeth kick to the ribs, and they just mm -hmm. ended up, like, crumpling and, like, took a knee. I don't remember I love who those. it was, though. But <laughs> yeah, I love it, too, because it's just like a... <laughs> I look at it like a jab. You can jab with your yeah. foot. Like, you know what I mean? And people don't utilize that shit a lot. I don't understand why. Especially the longer, lengthier guys. Like, that's such a perfect uh, distance yes. finder. Like, range finder. Yeah. You know, if you can hit him with that, then you know, like, okay, I got this down. Like, okay, mm -hmm. I can probably land a head kick if I take a small little step. And you know what I mean? Like, you can make a lot of good calculations off of that. Yeah. And, and you notice, like, too. I love seeing that. It depends Most of the time, on if you're fighting a wrestler, though, because if you're fighting a wrestler, you can be right. throwing them kicks up because yeah. that's just giving them something to grab onto. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, hey, there's some people, though, that don't even care. <laughs> they disrespect their wrestling with the kicks. Right. Uh, I feel like we saw somebody on, on this card like that. I don't remember who it was, but they were throwing kicks against a wrestler. And I was like, damn, bro, you kind of ballsy doing that. It was like, oh, Oh, you know who it was? I think it was Wei Lee. I think that's who I'm thinking of. She was throwing kicks recklessly. Yes. Yeah, we're going to get into that. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm oh, literally, man. that fight's on right now on my TV. <laughs> man, I, <ooh. laughs> yeah, we can, we'll, yeah. we'll get there. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Just put know, it like that. Poor Frankie. <laughs> hey, I, all I heard I, in my head was Damien talking about Frankie's done. <laughs> yeah, he's done. I already knew. He's done, <laughs> this is his last fight. He got nothing to lose at this point. He's uh, he's headed out. Like, this is how I seen it happening, honestly. It was so sad. They had the family right there. Like, as soon as I seen the family, I was like, oh, oh hell no. Nah. This is going to be bad. Like, uh, yeah, so I picked Frankie just off the strength, but I already knew what it was going to yeah. be. So he would have yeah. picked up, fucked up all my picks. But, like, what are you going to do? I'm going to pick him because that's, you know, already. That's Frankie. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, exactly. right there. Yeah, you know, Chris is younger, bigger, stronger, faster. Yeah, mm -hmm. hungrier. But yeah, you is know, this it sad was to see what we that knew too? It was gonna be. 
Yeah. So let's talk about how Reyes is. That's three bad knockouts, a kick, a knee, and a knee in a row. Like, yeah. that's not yeah. good at all. And exactly. he's already 41 years old. Yeah, but I'm happy it was his retirement fight. He won't Get have him to out be of inside there. there getting beat up. I hope that he doesn't try to box. Like, they were saying like he might decide to box. Please don't. Like, oh, save that's not even worse. That's even worse in the UFC. Yeah, that's gonna scramble his brains he, up even more. He, I feel like he's just a small, a small stature dude. He has the frame for wrestling. I feel like not. Yeah, he's not. He's not really boxing. Yeah, <laughs> like boxing type body stance. You know. Yeah. So yeah. let's even talk about that though. How amazing he is, because I was just watching his fight and he was a one fifty five champ though back in the day. That's, That's what I'm saying. Nuts. Yeah. That's Winner crazy. Lose, like he's going down in history forever. Like, yeah, that man was. A I'm gonna clap that you up for my guy. Him. Yeah, you can't disrespect that yeah. man. Like once a champ, yeah. always a champ. So yeah, yeah. You, if you run into Frankie Edgar, you'd be like, "Hey, what's up, champ?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, always. Oh, facts. Those. Once a champ, always a champ. Yeah. Because if you think if Absolutely. you think about it, he fought Gray Maynard, and Gray Maynard mm -hmm. was like really a 170 type of guy. Gray Maynard was huge. And their yeah. trilogy was amazing, like literally yes. one of the best, like bang outs. And Frankie used to get dropped and splattered, and his ass would get right back up and start throwing them things, start grappling, and start wrestling. Exactly. That's yeah, it's like really if does. you want to be a human and be like relentless, that's the kind of person you want to be. Just in life mm -hmm. type of stuff, you know what I mean? You get yeah. knocked down, get your ass back up, and start throwing them things. A role yeah. model for real, but that exactly. goes to show that. Father Time is undefeated, man. Like undefeated. I, I look at the people. I look at the people like Islam, who go into these fights and don't take any damage. Does all the damage. I, I, I just did that today. Yeah, yep, yeah, exactly. That today. And, that, yeah. And, that, yep. and that reminds me that it's like, oh my god, wrestling really dominates the sport. Honestly. Yeah. You, striking you is be fun. Upset. I love striking. It's one of my favorite things to watch in the UFC. But I mean, wrestling hands down dominates everything else. Save it's, your it disrespect. It disrespects your jujitsu. Your jujitsu do not matter if you up mm -hmm. against an Islam or a Khabib, like even uh 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 Chimaev, Like, bruh, it, yeah. it don't matter. Like the wrestling, you're not gonna do any damage on your back. You know what I mean? You're gonna try to throw submissions. I'm gonna get out and probably get into a better position because you tried yeah. it. And now what are you gonna do? Like it's such a it's such a defenseless position to be in mm -hmm. on the bottom against someone that's really skilled at grappling. Right. And um I forgot where I was going with this, but just the amount of like damage that strikers like Frankie Edgar and them took to mm -hmm. get where they're at today, because they've been in this shit for a long ass time. Yeah. You know, like you go into sparring and stuff and get beat up probably more than you do in fights. So exactly. getting beat up in the fight too at a hundred percent, it's like you can only take so much. You know what I mean? So as as time goes on and as as your resume grows with these fights, I feel like it you start to dwindle. And it's no yeah. disrespect. It's no disrespect to like you or your defensive style or anything like that. It's just you got younger, hungry people that are coming up who have been doing this probably just as long, if not longer than you, because they've been doing yep. this since kids. And they probably are still a kid, like in some people's minds, 22, 23 years old, exactly. you know, fighting these, you know, killers at the top of their game. It's like it, this whole sport. I love it so much because it's crazy. You never know what's going to happen, but you kind of have an idea based right. off of the patterns that you start to see. And mm -hmm. as I'm watching UFC, as long as I have, I'm starting to notice these things. Like the, the older you are and the more damage that you've taken in your career, you're likely going to start falling off sooner than, than some of these other people like wrestlers. You know what I mean? Facts. Like like Ben Askren, for instance, like he didn't take it. He hardly takes damage in any of his fights, you know? So that's why when we saw Jorge Masvidal do what he did to him, it was amazing. We were like, what the hell slapped yeah. that man? Fastest yeah. knockout ever. Yeah. against someone who doesn't statistically on paper take damage <laughs> at yeah. all. Hey, but Robbie Lawler beat his ass, ass though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's Robbie put Lawler that out there. Robbie Lawler beat his ass. Not on paper. Hey, we were there in person. No, we were Robbie there for Lawler, that fight. That was the fight that we went to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but to yeah. Uh, go on what you were saying, though, people get mad at boring fights. The name of the game is to not get hit and to hit the yeah. other person more it's like, you don't want to get hit in the head. Why would you want to stand there and just bang? That's not good no, no. for yourself. 
Like you don't want yeah, to nah. be in wars. It don't make no sense. Like they always Especially, been saying, I don't, I don't get paid by the minute. I'm trying to get in and get out. If I can get in there, knock your ass out and go home. Pay me. Let's go. I don't want to be in there getting hit. That even if you go out there and win, that's still damage onto your body. Like you got to live with that. That sucks. Yeah, can't even go home and celebrate because you got to go straight to the hospital. (laughs) Imagine that. See, I don't think I think people think that the fight just stops when it's done in the cage. Like, bro. Going to take a shower with all that cut up and all, it still hurts. Three days later, oh, it, hurts. it still hurts. Oh, it's your eyes hurt. Your pain. brain hurts. Exactly. Yeah. Because your adrenaline is like through the shit. roof. Yeah. And then it adrenaline starts coming down. You're like, there. oh, my God. My brain hurts. My eyes hurts. My lips hurts. My face hurts. My body hurts. And then you're coming off depleted because you cut all this weight. You put it back mm-hmm. on. You went in a war. Your adrenaline spiked, that was come back down, and you're like, damn, this shit sucks. So when people yeah, are like, 100%. oh, man, I don't want to get on Izzy, but they're like, his fight is boring because who the fuck wants to stand there and just get punched up all day long? It don't make no sense. Yeah. yeah. But that's what I'm trying to say. And this is the UFC, the best in the world. Not the, the best, best in the, the best. division. Not the best, the best in the of county. The best. Mm-hmm. Not the best in the state. Not the best in the country. It's the best in the world, bro. So I can see why we got fights like Francis Ngannou versus Derrick Lewis where they afraid to strike because <laughs> nigga, it only takes one shot. <laughs> one shot. You and you're dead. Nap, and, you're, <laughs> yes. and you're embarrassed, bro. The internet does not yes. sleep. Undefeated. The internet is <laughs> yes. undefeated. undefeated. As soon as bro. it happens, there's a meme. You don't, yeah, don't want to be on the, You don't want to be on the receiving end of a meme. Yeah. <laughs> so speaking of that, just bangers, craziness, Dustin Poirier versus Michael Chandler. What a fight. We fight knew it was night. gonna be fight of the night. Potential. Well deserved. We knew it. I literally just we watched that fight right now because I'm re-watching the fights and they're on my TV I'll right now. Them too. Um first of all, <laughs> that, that fight was I just love I Michael Chandler. The thing is, oh. I started to love him a lot more. He's he's a cool guy, man. Like you can't take I, yourself so serious, but you also He's super articulate. So I'm like, oh, okay. I understand what he's mm. saying. He's never a hater type of dude. He gives respect. Yeah. So I can, I can, but the thing is crazy. He came in. Now he's two and three in the UFC. He's stomping with care. the big, big dogs. Stomping with the we big, big dogs. No, I we don't though. Like, Cause his fights, yeah, his listen, fights exactly. are don't care. top tier. The way that he, the way that he came out in that first round against Dustin, I was like, oh, you coming with the business. Michael Chandler looked amazing up until like the last 20 seconds when Dustin had him was up against the cage and start piecing him up. 35 seconds. It was 35 okay. seconds because yeah. I was like, because me and my girl literally are just watching it right now. We're like, dude, he's fucking him up. And we remember the fight. I'm like, but Poirier, he had a moment. And I'm like, what's the clock? What's the clock? Yeah. Uh, Chandler suplexes ass. There's like a minute uh-huh. and something on the clock. I'm like, when did Dustin get his time? And then the Time gets going. He gets up. There's like 40 seconds. I'm like, all right, it's about this time. No, it's like 30 seconds on the clock. And then he starts piecing them up. I'm like, yeah, what's mm-hmm. going on? It was almost Bad. over. Bad. I didn't think that Chandler was going to be able to recover in a second. And the whole time I'm thinking to myself, like, I know that like the uh, other people when they were watching round two, I the whole time I'm watching, I should have been recording. I was screaming, shoot, Chandler, shoot. Because mm-hmm. I didn't want him to end up in another exchange with Dustin. So that whole second yeah. round, like him controlling on top, wrestling, I was that like, That takedown yes, was beautiful. That, that takedown yes, was beautiful. That's perfectly timed, dominated yeah. the round. Let's talk about Michael Chandler being a complete disgusting animal, <laughs> blowing his nose on Dustin Poirier. Bruh, that was nasty. You saw that fat ass glob of blood just come down. It went down. right here. If Dustin's mouth would have been did? open, that would have been in his mouth. Oh, it went know. right no, here. No, it, it missed it. It landed on the mat, though. <laughs> I got a no, question, no. though. No, you didn't see when that big glob went on his chin? No, but I seen another one that landed on the mat. Like I literally just seen it. It was a thick one, and then they kind of zoomed in on it a little yeah, bit. I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, that's what I'm talking about." That that shit was nasty. Hey, I man, got a question hey. though. Oh, go ahead. What would you score that first round though, like point wise? Mm. I would have I would have given it to Dustin because I feel like he stole it at the at the end of that round. The damage just for thirty was seconds of that. But, but that was thirty 40... seconds of pure. Damage. 
Like the channel was almost out. I think I would have gave it a nine nine or a ten ten, like a tie type of thing. Yeah, because it was literally because Chandler was beating his ass too, though. Plus, he was the beat, he was winning around. Yeah. Oh, he that's was the thing that was ass. crazy to me for the majority when of I, the round. He was whooping his. When ass. I rewatched yeah. it, because the the first time, we're like, yeah, because you you know our adrenaline's up too, mm-hmm. and then we're like, oh no, poor he's coming back. He's beating his ass, and then when I watch it again. I'm like, how would you even score that? Like, yeah. Oh shit! Fuck Izzy's fight's about to come on my TV right now. <laughs> um, but, so it's but, like uh, to me it's like kind of tied up or 9-9 nine, nine, or I don't know that's that's a hard ass round to, to score I, I would have probably gave it to Chandler honestly um, just because See? he, he yeah, came out I don't and, know. It's and he weird. set the tone he kind of set the tone for the fight right out the get go and he was piecing uh, uh, old boy up and it, and it got to a point where I feel like Dustin became that fighter to where he kind of needs to get hit a little bit to get wake, woke up. Because yeah. you could see, you could see it where he was like, he like wiped himself off or something. I remember. And he was like, all right, let's go. And then started mm-hmm. walking him down and then put his back against the cage and started letting loose. And I was like, okay, like that's a Dustin that I'm used to seeing because Dustin got some crispy ass boxing. Dustin got mm-hmm. hands. Probably like some of the best in that division. And um, to, to see the amount of damage that he put on Chandler, that's the thing. It would be the amount of time that Chandler, that, that so, uh, uh, real quick, go ahead. Um, real quick, all three judges gave round one to Dustin. Mm. Damn, this, yeah, this, but, for that last I, but I could see that though because he did give was it 10 9 and and it's at the end of the round yeah, to, 10, where they, to where they remember that last, right? Mm-hmm. That's how it typically I think they, goes. I think they start, I think they should start weighing the scales a little bit more to even giving tying rounds to, to certain should. fighters. They, you and know what I'm saying? To. They should start yeah. doing more 10-10s ten because there are some rounds. Or 9-9s nine because both of them got their ass beat like equally. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Facts. Uh, what Facts. I was going to say, but uh, going back to the first round, you remember Chandler threw four straight body kicks like a fucking savage? Oh, yeah. Yes. He was like, hey, but, bow, right bow, Dustin, it was bow. Dustin started uh, <laughs> parrying him. Dustin started reading him and seeing him coming, so he was throwing them blindly. And they looked that savage, crazy. they looked dope and shit, but the last three, I think, they didn't even touch him. He just, and then, you know, they got back into it, so. Yeah. You know, it. I love these fighters, man. They, they're but so good dope. on Dustin. I respect both of them. Facts, facts. Mm-hmm. We definitely respect both of them. Good on Dustin for getting it done with the rear naked choke. However, I was upset. If y'all go back and watch that last sequence, when Dustin takes Chandler's back, Mm-hmm. Like when I listen to other fighters talk, they talk about how a fighter quits, but they won't do it in a way that's obvious. Mm-hmm. And if you they go back and up. watch it, they give it up. D- Chandler gave that up. That's just my opinion. If you go back and you watch it, Dustin's on his back. He's fighting the hands. Chandler is. Then all of a sudden, Chandler stops fighting the hands and posts he lets him up slide it. on his. He lets him slide and it. He mm-hmm. let him. He posted on that right hand, and was, I'm like, why are you posting on your hands? You know that this man's on your neck. He's supposed Am to defend I, the hands, yeah. Yes, you and he was defending the hands, that. and then he decided to lean forward yeah. and post on his hands so that the dude can take your neck. Hey, I'm not upset. That was a hard ass fight. You were bleeding. Your nose was mm-hmm. all fucked up, and you That's what the I was fuck saying. up out of there. When I was watching that, and I was I was thinking in my head, if I was Dustin, I'd be fucking grinding my forearms against his nose the whole yes. time, like making mm-hmm. it super uncomfortable. To where it, he would have done that type of shit, and that's probably right. what it was, honestly. Probably just yeah. and you know what too, he probably knew he started fucking him up. <laughs> he probably knew he wasn't gonna be able to get out of it because he had the body lock. Yeah, he had he the, the body, body triangle on him. He was not gonna get out of that, so he's gonna sit there either taking elbows and punches across his head all day long. Yeah. He's gonna be sliding and like he said, rubbing across his nose, and his nose was already fucked up bad. Yeah, so. That was gonna be a painful ass round for him. He was he yeah. wasn't not gonna get out of that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that backpack was too heavy for him. How savage <laughs> would have that have been if if Dustin just like pulled his forehead and started just doing little punches to oh. the nose or some shit? <laughs> yeah, that would be wild oh, as hell. I would have been like, damn. And you know, one savage. thing I really respected about Dustin after that is that he told Chandler like I was afraid to fight you, like I was scared to fight yeah, you, a he healthy that. level of scare. And mm-hmm. I love that, like fighters just being real about how they feel about shit because Chandler is a bad man. Like 
and mm-hmm. to admit that and not just try to be like, oh, I knew, like, no, like, you was laying up thinking to yourself, dude, this man can flatline me. Mm-hmm. And yeah. he almost did. And that's that's scary. That's a scarier version of, of Poirier. Imagine against a person that he's not afraid of like that. Exactly. <laughs> Where he don't respect his power and shit. Man. Okay, so I got a question for y'all. What's next for Dustin and what's next for Chandler, though? Fight-wise. <sighs> Who do you want to see? I think... Let me, let me look at the division real quick. Yeah, I think that they could do uh, Chandler so ch- versus Darius. I mean, I'm Chandler sorry, really, really want. I kind of uh, that'll be cool. I kind of um, like that. Who you got in that? Um, I'm gonna go with Dustin Darius. Oh man, normally I would go with Dustin, but like Darius. He's on his vibe right now, huh? <laughs> and, he, and he's got that Darius full package is. type of thing where he's yeah. doing like everything. He's mixing it all up. I feel like yeah, that's a I bad think... fight for Dustin. Yeah, I feel I like I would so lean too. more towards Darius, but but Dustin is a dog. Like you can never count yeah. Dustin out. Like it, it would that's be gonna be close. a scrap. That's gonna be a scrap. Yeah, and then I probably Chandler. do Chandler versus uh, Rafael Faziz. I would like to see that. Oh, that would be boys, Chandler that'd be really fight. wants to fight Connor though. Fight. That's the money fight. Chandler versus oh. Connor. That's the hey, motherfucking I'm trying to get my fight. boy Max paid. I'm trying to get my boy Max paid. Fuck Chandler. <laughs> Go ahead and run that rematch. Yeah. I think Connor does Chandler, honestly. I you think, think he so? does him. Yeah, I think he does. Uh, I think, Chandler I think, better I think be a wrestler. Nah. He better, I think, but... I think it's a rap for Connor, man. But after he being in no more. with Khabib, I feel like Connor would be able to take Chandler. We'll see. He got too much money right now. He don't got the dog no more, bro. I don't know. He don't he got it no man, more. This man pumped up on steroids. Confident hey, like, <laughs> And guess what? Hey, you know what's funny, too? Me and my girl were talking about, we're like, I think Chandler juiced the fuck up, too. Because in hey, every something. fight, he takes big-ass shots, and he just pops right the fuck back up. Like, it is, it ain't nothing. He be eating them too. We're like this dude's like Captain America. But you gotta like think America. about it though. Like he, he's all muscle. Like he's mm-hmm. all Sky. Where do you think he got it from? Muscle. Where do you think he I got think, it from? I, I think he's clean. I think he's clean. I think he's clean. Nah, I think he's, I think he's clean nah. a, based off of like how how tall he is. Yeah, nah, these like, dudes really know little. how to cycle. Yeah, they know how to cycle. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> these dudes know how to cycle. They've been in the game too long to not know how to they've cycle. Been in, yeah, they've been in the game for a long ass time to know how to yeah. how to maneuver around those. And he's back. a wrestler from back in the day. You don't think those dudes were cycling back then? <laughs> hey, allegedly, well, like, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. I feel like, I feel like Chandler. <laughs> I feel like Chandler's a cool, like good, humble dude. Like solid yeah, guy. Like he wouldn't intend. That don't mean he like, don't want to cheat though. I mean, yeah, when your life is on the line versus another person and you getting paid and you're trying to stay getting paid, yeah, I can see it. <laughs> right. Oh, or no, the I Izzy fight's on my TV, so let me pause this shit because I didn't want to get right. excited. And then Carlos Barza versus Zhang Wei Li. We knew what was going to happen there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I loved well, it. we knew that we wanted Zhang Wei Li to get it done. Um, the, fact, I loved it. the fact that she choked her out like that, like that's so gangster to me. Zhang Wei Li looked loved like a it. killer out there. Mm-hmm. She looks. She looks terrifying. so good. She looks so she looks good. Like, she looks like she didn't respect old girl at all. She, she did. Said, I don't care what you got. Like I'm better at everything. So let's get into it. Type and of, back to those leg kicks that she was throwing, mm-hmm. like you were saying earlier. Mm-hmm. She was throwing them kicks, like, "Hey, take me down if you want to." <laughs> yeah, like reckless abandonment. Like take me yes. down. I'm a. I'm a fuck you up from the ground. Like <laughs> it, it didn't even right. matter to her. It's such a savage. I, Wei Li is one of my favorite fighters in in, in the women's division. Like hands down, and like, she's so nice. Shevchenko, Wei Li, Rose Namajunas, and uh, Amanda Nunez. Like those are my four right there. That you know, I'll, I'll I won't miss a fight from them. You feel me? Right. Facts. But I do got I do have to go on a small rant because I think that this is important and more people need to really stop and think about this. Carla Esparza was disrespected mm. all week. Like, and I get it, you may not like her, but, like, if we just look at the facts, she was the first strawweight champion, Mm -hmm. right? It took her eight years to get back. She had to fight and grind eight fucking years to get back to being a champion. Sure, she had a lackluster fight uh, with Rose and got the championship. Like, 
you got to think about how hard it is. Like we were talking about how the UFC is the best in to the fight world, that. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that. when you're talking about how hard it is to get in the top 15, the top 10, the top five, how hard it is just to be able to get into a championship fight, period. Like there's a mm-hmm. lot of people who are really good who won't even get to a championship fight. And then to actually become a champion, like, and you got to think about the fact that these are these people's life dreams. Like that's yep. what they're grinding for their whole entire fucking life. And then to get to that point and you have motherfuckers who are sitting on a couch eating popcorn, talking shit about you and booing you. Who the fuck are you? Well, who I don't boo, are but... you? Like, no, 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 no. I, I don't, no I'm, not ta- I'm, not, I'm not talking to y'all. I'm just, you know the fans that I'm talking about. Yeah, like, yeah, have yeah. some respect for these fighters. Like, you don't have to like them. You don't have to buy a shirt. You don't have to, but you have to acknowledge that these are world-class athletes who are getting to the pinnacle of their dreams and they're the ones who had to grind and put their bodies on the line. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, like, we have to give Carla her respect. We might not like the way that she fight. It might not be that exciting. But at the same time, like, this woman did something that 99% of women who are in this sport won't be able to do. Ever do. Ever do. Period. Yeah. She she could beat half the people's ass that was at that arena that night. So, we got to oh, start, yeah. like, giving these athletes their respect that they deserve. Like, this is a grind. This is a dream for them. And, mm-hmm. like, they get put in these positions. And then, like, y'all just shit on them and, like, you know, like, like it ain't nothing. Like, th- we got to do better. That's all. That's my rant. I, su- I was surprised that everybody was booing her like that. Like, yeah. Like, I understand, yeah, her last fight was boring, but that's not who she is. Like, the way that I be looking at these fighters is I look at their resume. Like, win or loss, if you lost to the best at the top, like, that's not even really a loss to me. That's like, right. you know, oh, like, you, you you couldn't hang with the champ, but you still up there contending, you know? Right. And that's Carla Esparza. Like, she's up there, and she's hanging with the with the best of them, and she may not have the most exciting fight style, but she fights to win, and she gets it done. It's almost like a Stephen, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Like, right. we love to see that nigga fight, right? But it's, But right. why? because he's a striker, but he's a point striker, right? He's mm-hmm. in and out. He's touching you the whole time. He's not yeah. really throwing 100% power trying to knock him out. We're watching him touch him. I mean, that's what it is, except in grappling aspects of it, right? That's what Carlos Esparza is doing. People just don't right. People don't understand because they never actually tried to do that. You know what I mean? They say, oh, I bet you if I roll with Carla, like, I'll tap her out. Nah. <laughs> that's why you be you seeing all these not. fans get beat up. That's why Kevin Holland be over there beating people up because it's like... Y'all be that. sitting here. I, I, love I think that. more fighters should do it for sure. Like y'all be sitting there watching it and thinking that like, oh, I can do, I can beat them up, man. Yeah. Quit playing. No, these people need um, to be humble for real, for real. You know, because if you think about it, people have more respect for the twelfth man on a on a basketball team yeah, than they do real. these fighters. For like real. they be talking. <laughs> like, okay, so that's a, that's a, <laughs> that's the thing too, you, where they say that. You know, people, like I said, that's even me, though. Like, I love the sport for what it is, and I'll be like, ah! Um, but I'll say 90% of the people wouldn't even make it through making weight. Like, going through the process Period. of making weight. You know what I'm saying? So, people got to chill out. Like, I, you got to give respect to anybody that step into, like, even Damien, bro. Like, I got mad respect for you for doing what you do. Like, fighting right. is a high anxiety thing. Like when I used yeah, to fight as a kid, really fighting is. somebody, you're, you you just spike your heart is like, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. and every time I watch somebody fight, it's like I'm like, bro, they do this just to be doing it. Like it's crazy. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you have to respect somebody who steps into the ring and they put their life on the line. It's literally their life on the line, their body on the line, and their brains on the line. It's like mm-hmm. I don't like certain fighters just because. I like certain personalities. I like the way they fight or whatever, right, whatever. Right. Like, I'm not a Carlos Esparza fan. I want her to right. lose a fight. But I respect that she goes out and she does what she does, and she puts on yeah. for women. And I love women's fighters. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how many girls going to go look at her and she's like, oh, man, she's a double champ. I can go do that. I can go wrestle. She's a collegiate wrestler. That's amazing. Right. You got to put respect on these women's name, man. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, not even just Everybody. women. Like I didn't seen yeah, I didn't see males get disrespected. Like keeping your all right, making it to the UFC is one thing, but keeping your job with the UFC, that's another yes. thing that people a lot of people don't keep their jobs. People that we've known and seen fight and are pretty high level, they don't mm-hmm. even keep their job with the UFC, bro. So the fact that, you know, some of these people are still in here and they're still grinding and stuff, like I'm looking at people like Alex Caceres, like uh yeah. 
let's see, Violent He's Bob Ross recent. Violent Bob Ross recently got cut, and like, dude is a, a fucking phenomenal fighter. I'm right. I'm like, damn, we don't have Bob Ross no more, you know. And it's like that's this business, bro. It's cutthroat. If you can't hang, you can't hang. Or if they even think in the slightest you can't hang, you you not welcome. <laughs> that's mm-hmm. how I feel the UFC is. So the fact that these people got their jobs, like, um, yeah. who am I thinking of? Like Andre Arlovsky, who's been with the UFC forever, forever. right? Forever. This Jim dude got Miller. wins, got losses, but it's like he still got a job because he the, the nigga comes to fight. <laughs> the right. nigga comes to fight and always puts on a show every time, and that's what we expect. That's what we expect, and that's what we respect. You feel me? Exactly. I like that. That's what we expect, and that's what we respect. And then let's go ahead and get into it. The card, that, the you know, the fight that broke our hearts and knew. You don't have Alex to put that Pereira. on the screen, though. You don't have to put that on the screen. <laughs> yeah, hey, it just is what it nah. is. <laughs> mm, let me ask y'all what what do you think about the stoppage you think it was fair yeah I'm, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you I didn't want to see Izzy go out mm-hmm. yeah I'm okay with that like I know people was like oh it was early but it's always nah. early until it's too Fuck late no. yeah because had he hit him with something nasty and he fell over like a tree timber we mm. would have been like oh, it, that's devastating to see yeah that's not Cause something they was, like because they was coming they was yeah. fucking coming. I mean, he was hitting him. He was hitting him with some things in that last little sequence. Mm-hmm. Like, first yeah. of all, Israel Adesanya, he went into that fight and was working it. He looked great. Bro, it looked like a sniper. I don't know if he you was, noticed it, but he kept so he kept playing the right jab now. out there. He kept throwing the jab out there and holding it out there for his range, mm-hmm. and then the right would come like a sniper. Bink. And yes. it would land so clean. You could see it on Alex. He would kind of wobble or stumble. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. And after that round where he caught him with the left hook. The first? He, oh, my yeah. goodness. Oh that my little goodness. arm, the arm was shaking. I was like, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-huh. And all I could remember was, was like, like that video <laughs> that I posted that uh, that Izzy was like, kept saying that he's sharp and he's mm-hmm. accurate. And I was like, oh, he's putting just it on throw, display. I don't just throw, I aim and I shoot. Yeah. That's what he says. I don't just throw. I aim and I shoot. But to yeah, me, bro, when was, I was watching the fight earlier, in, early in the rounds, the best thing that he was doing early in the rounds was he was pawing at his left hand and grabbing it so he couldn't throw that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he was throwing leg kicks with it. He would palm mm-hmm. and grab it so he couldn't throw it because he will know he was finding his hands where his where his hands at. So I could slide out. I can move. I could circle. And then I'm throwing the leg mm-hmm. kicks with it. But like the fight is about to come on right now on my TV, so I can be fresh and watching it. Like he did his shit. He did his shit. He did. He did. And, and mixed it, in the wrestling, the wrist control. I have a wow. very, very a lot of lot of gripe. Not with his things, but I'm like, so he had him down, and there's rules to like jujitsu or when you're when you're grappling. It's like, bro, like my son, he rolls. We're like, get your hooks in. I'm That's yelling at we the TV. Screaming. I'm like. Get yes. your hooks in because then it protects your body. In. He was only putting one hook in, which now And then he'll I... put the wrong one in. He'll put yeah. the right one in and then leave his outside body open. I'm like, bro, put the other one in and then you shield your body off and then you can control his wrist or whatever and you start striking. Um, and another one, when he was on his back, he wasn't letting his hands go. I'm like, you had open no. shots. Just let your hands go. Just let them go. Yeah, Just start yeah. letting them go. He'll throw one and then stop, one, and then get mm-hmm. positioning. But he did great in that round, though. Like, it was, all right, yeah. you took it. But it's like, oh, also, when you're grappling, you got him on the cage. Just throw them little-ass knees to the legs. Just throw, just yeah. being active in the clinch, like, active, more. Yeah. Make them Just think. being active. Yeah. And that just, it's like a if you're fighting Mortal Kombat, just little bars going down of your health bar. Right. Yeah, but it's yeah. like, I'm watching it right now. This is the first round. He's moving on him. He's sliding on him. It was... Mm-hmm. It was all good to it, wasn't it? One thing that Pereira <laughs> actually did pretty well, which is like a great game plan against someone like Adesanya, is kick his legs. Yeah. Because if you notice, he didn't have that movement anymore. Because Adesanya, yeah. when he would get his back against the cage, he was on that shit. He was like, I better get up out of here because this is dangerous. And I've seen that left hook, that that textbook left hook from Pereira, get close to his chin too many times did for comfort. See, too many times was early. It round four? It was either round four or round three. 
He barely missed Izzy barely. with that left hook. And Izzy instantly started blinking on that side of his eye. He was like, oh, yeah, blink, yeah. blink. Like, he mm-hmm. was like, oh, shit. Like, that was too close. It was a wake-up one. It was like, oh, damn, I better... <laughs> I'm lackadaisical right now. I better start... Bro, yeah. them them left hooks were nuclear. Like, they were so scary. Every time, Every time he got his came. head on the cage and I saw that left hook and it barely what? missed him, I was like, bro, you better get up out of there, bro. Like, yes. You, and one thing... That's not looking good. And, and, yeah, he knew. Like, the whole time as I was watching the fight, like, I kept screaming, like... That's not your position. That's, every time he was up against the cage, Izzy, I was screaming, like, that's not your position. Like, mm-hmm. get up out of there. Circle out of there. But what Izzy did say is that, going back to what Damien just said, is that the leg kicks, Izzy acknowledged that the leg kicks I was going to say that, It's what that started too. to accumulate. And he was giving uh, Piera the credit of saying, like, you know, his leg kicks were the, was what really what uh, caused that damage. So then when you see that kick in the fifth round that uh, Alex checked, and then Izzy rolled back rolled. on his back, mm-hmm. yeah. That was because, like, then at that point, he had hit his uh, common peroneal. Yeah, yeah, so then he was numb. and, and, and Yeah, he boring. said he hit his nerve. Yeah. Mm-mm. I couldn't imagine well, that. See, but that's... <laughs> I think... I think but Izzy's not a fighter that is supposed to be... But he got used to doing... He does that against other fighters that he can slide in and out of. He does mm-hmm. this shit, and it's... Boy, yes. his hands be low. They're, they're low. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. He does that because he's more athletic than these dudes. And they're normally smaller than him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Pajetta's, is, Pajetta's right actually a little bit bigger than him. He is. So he like, cut. He cut. Yeah, because he got that big egg ass head, like a big mountain head. <laughs> so he pressed him against the cage. So now he can't move out of the the range. So a lot of fighters, if you notice, they'll keep their their back heels on the um the black line of the octagon. Yeah. So they can know yeah. when to circle out. So he's getting pressed. So when you're on the cage, he can't he can't move from there. And his best move, like you said, he got the leg kick. He hurt his leg. I'll take it for what he says. It's like man, but you gotta you gotta get out of there, man. You gotta. Yeah. He fought he fought masterfully though. It's like yeah, another thing, like Kamaru. It, it's yeah. like another Kamaru fight. It was all good till it wasn't. You know what I mean? Watch I, I was. I'm gonna tell you this. My son was in there f- watching with me, and he's a huge fan. I was yelling and screaming like, "What the fuck!" fuck. Like I was to the highest festivity, <laughs> yeah. and I was <laughs> mad, mad, mad. And my son broke down. He was crying. I'm like, "It's all right, bro." Like, yeah, he was pissed off too. But it was just like, "Damn, not like that." Like, "Fuck, bro, you were the thing." If you would have been getting his ass beat the whole fight, then I would have been like, "All right, man, you whatever you what are you doing?" But he was like mm-hmm. this far away. A couple of minutes, and you, 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 you defeat your demon. But it's like, yep, shit. Right now, look, Pajetta's ears bleeding after the first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, but, he mm-hmm. was. Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say uh, the thing is with with Pereira, uh Well, with this fight, when Izzy was in the center of the octagon, he was kind of dictating shit. And you can see Pereira was reacting a lot. He was really playing mm-hmm. defensive mode he in was the like, center of the octagon. But yeah. Adesanya would throw the combination and then step back and slide back and slide back until his back was on the cage. And then that's when you see Pereira start to let loose. And that's when it was getting scary where you like, oh, shit, uh-oh. You better yeah. get up out of there. Like, we, we all feel it on the inside. We're like, uh-oh, yeah. this is kind of scary right here for you, bro. You better get up out of there. And uh, oh my god, yeah, that that's so one just, thing that I noticed with the fight is he would he would just he kept his composure. Pereira, he stood up tall, so he was looking like a bigger threat, <laughs> mm-hmm. and he kept walking him down. No matter the shot. So the came end of the first round is happening right now on my TV, <laughs> bro. The overhand right was beautiful. Spat, uh, crumbled him. The left hook, mm-hmm. and that's the thing. Most of the time, them kind of punches. Make people hit the canvas, and you just a rap. That's the one that hit oh, uh, yeah. Whitaker. That left, that boom. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. This dude's just big and he's strong. You know, it's like you gotta hit him with a ton of bricks to put his ass down. Hey, the feint though that he threw, he he hit him with the cross right, being that like rocked him a little bit, and then boom. at the end he right painted this ear. uppercut, yeah, and then yeah. threw the hook. <laughs> Bro, that shit was so beautiful. Left hook. Boom, like, right on the chin. It, it's almost like a question mark kick, right, where you throw it up the middle oh. and then, and then yeah, slap yeah. it over the top. Yeah, that was beautiful. Top. He did Boom. that with the with the hook, and I ain't ever seen that. And that's yeah. what had him like shook because he he did like this to block it, bro. Yeah. I saw that while while I was watching the fight. I was like, "This is a cold motherfucker right here." I fuck with Adesanya, man, because he always has you guessing. It's a it's more of a game than a fight to him. I feel like 
It's mm-hmm. more of a like, you know, I'm gonna it's I'm gonna science. show you what I got. You're gonna start trying to adjust to what I'm showing you, but I'm actually setting you up for the next thing. Yeah, you right. know what I mean. I I love that shit. I, I, one of my favorite fighters right here, Adesanya, hundred percent. Love this dude. Yeah, be, and I because think he fight. I think in the rematch he takes the W for real, <laughs> for real. I think he so fight. as well. As long as he doesn't get caught with Oof. anything, um, because he was winning the fight, he looked good, he looked comfortable. Um, Oof. the game plan was working. But shout out to Alex Pereira's corner, Glover. Oof. Glover and other dude, the way they got him hyped up, hey, he looked dead at his corner. He was like, "Do I need to finish?" They was like, "You need to finish." Bro, and he you need went to knock and got this it. man out. Yeah, he went and got it. So we don't want to take nothing away from Alex because hey, that man did what he was supposed to do. No, he which was he, go out there and get it. Like rather hey. than every other every other opponent that we've seen fight Izzy in the fifth round would just be like, I'm just, I don't want to get knocked out," and they were just coasting. Yep. that man was like, "Hey, if I get knocked out, if I die, I die." Like, <laughs> and he yep. went at him. And and it was when he was his most dangerous. Um, yeah, I think in the rematch, uh, in the rematch, Izzy definitely gets it done. But I don't want to say definitely, actually, because I mean, how is this going to now play into his psyche again? Because yeah. now this is really psychological. Yeah, it is right. This shit you know? is so crazy to me because it happened the exact same way that the last fight happened, and yeah. this man kept saying, "I'm gonna rewrite history." This was the exact same history. <laughs> this is, yeah. you know, we went back to social studies class and we learned about this again and we saw it live in our era. You know what I mean? Because we didn't watch the last fight live. We saw this one. It was the same shit, bro. Like, you rocked him at the end of the round. Look like you. I think he even said something at the end of the round in the last fight where he was like, oh, almost got your ass. Like, you better come with it. And then, and then got caught. Oh, damn. You hate to see it. Oh. <laughs> Damn. But at the same time, you know oof, oof. that the rest of the Lynch division work. is licking their chops because the rest oh, of the yeah. division, they can eat Alex up. Dude. When it comes to wrestling, they can yeah. eat Alex up and they're going to be able to easily take him down. Where's the rest of the division? I, I'm trying to see. Um. So you got, let me pull it up. You I'm have, trying to, they, all have, they all have fights coming up. Yeah. The, uh, so Whitaker... I seen a video of Whitaker uh, watching uh, the, the Izzy fight. He was watching it live, and he was like, he's like, oh, shit. And you can see that he's trying not oh, yeah, to react, yeah. but at the same mm-hmm. time, he's kind of like, damn, yeah. let me go beat up Paula Costa <laughs> so, I, so oh, I can get who, back in here. Okay, yeah. so it's getting near inventory next, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. Yeah. Right Okay, okay. That's a so good like name. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm watching, watching the fight do. right now. And everybody was just like, oh, Pajara just took the second round just like on a – just just washed them in the second round. But I'm – it's like one of those close-ass rounds. I'm like yeah, literally like round. watching it. Yeah, and they're like, he just took it. I'm like, Izzy was just sticking his ass with an overhand right. He's mm-hmm. moving. He grappled up. He's getting leg kicks. Pajara got a jab. Like he probably won the round, but it's not how they say it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, the, the rounds that Izzy won were clearly Izzy. Yeah. And yeah. these rounds, it wasn't clearly Pereira. I was like, oh, Pereira had a good round right there, you know? It's lucky. He stuck so him right there. It. But damn, yeah. man, that's... It, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter because, like I said, it is what it is until it wasn't. <laughs> it, yeah, that's the thing, man. It is thing, what it is until man. it wasn't. It doesn't, it yeah. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah. The, the, the clinch uh, work, Rocky, he got him clinched The, the Rocky Ouse, man, that's, that's what happened here. Yeah. Sheesh. That's what's going to happen that's... to Francis, you think? Ooh. <laughs> I, you know, I already told you I'm sick of Francis. I, don't fuck. <laughs> hey, I, I seen him today. Who? I seen him today in the Who's cafeteria. There? Yeah, Damn. he's a really nice guy. I like him as a hey, person. That's like, wild. I... Y'all just be having lunch together. <laughs> I, I I wasn't at the table with them, but yeah, like we. No, not we like that. But like you yeah. finna go get your little salad, and then he's in there with his mashed potatoes and Everybody's stuff. Everybody's there. Everybody oh, that's super dope. There. Oh hey Francis. I want I wanted to say that like uh when you were talking to somebody else about your job, I was like, I don't want to do your job, but I was like, damn, I want to be around like that. That's super yeah, cool. like the yeah, like the little perks, the little intricacies of the job. That yeah, like, that's so dope. That makes it work. Yeah, right. I'm sure. Yeah, that seems hella cool. Yeah, it it is really fun. It's nice. Like um, like the other day I was getting breakfast and Odie Osborne walked up to me. So I was on his podcast like a couple weeks back. Um, and he's like asking me uh, stuff about like his podcast and stuff like that. So like, 
you, you start to see people, you start to know people, and yeah, the yeah. majority of the fighters are, like, really cool, laid back, and nice. Um, Francis is probably one of the nicest fighters I've ever met. Like, he really is, like, a genuinely nice guy. But as far as, like, his position, like, with the UFC and, like, what's going on with that, like, mm-hmm. I just want him to get out the way. Yeah, I feel you. I mean, like, I... hey, fight or go to another organization and do your thing. Yeah. Like, do what makes you happy. Yeah, nice job. You know what I mean? Because I, I don't, I don't see them putting into the contract him being allowed to box. You know what I mean? Like this is a combat sport. Nope. You go over and you do another combat sport, like ah. that puts you in damage and puts you know like them in a position to where like who can fight for their championship belt. You know what I mean? Like yeah. for sure you need more money. I think all fighters need more money. Every yeah. single one of them need more money because like we talked about, you're putting your brain on the line. You're putting mm-hmm. your health on the line. You know what I mean? You have a small window to be able to even compete and do this. Right. So yeah, I'm I'm all for everybody getting their money. Get get as much money as you want. Like people were talking shit about Aljo for like talking about how he wanted to make more money. And it's like, no, that man deserves more money. Like Hell y'all yeah. disrespecting him, regardless of how y'all feel about him, how he got the bell, blah, blah, whatever the hell y'all want to say, get that man his money. Because mm-hmm. like people are talking shit about him now, but like when he was running through the division, how you think he got there? That's another right. one of the things. Like give people their respect. How you think they got there? When he ran through Corey Sandhagen in a minute and a half and choked him out, like quit playing with these people. Yeah. Anyway. Talking of, <laughs> talking about Aljo, it's funny is that they talk shit about him and they're like talk, they talk about the knee. But they never talk shit about Jan for throwing the knee. Ever. You, you clearly no. seen he was on the ground, and, and it clearly no, people no. And, and his like only nobody's other ever. Loss, Jan's up, only ever was another illegal knee. Oh yeah, was it really? Yes. Oh wow. Yeah, What's that man's that? dirty. And in That's that yeah. fight, he was throwing blows to the back of the head. Like, that dude... So, like, when they were talking about how they ah. felt like Jan had got frustrated and that's why he threw it, I really believe it yeah. to be true. Go oh, back yeah, and watch... Uh, Dan Hardy has a whole video breaking it down. Um, he used to be a commentator, but uh, now he does, like, these things on YouTube called the mm-hmm. War Rooms. The War yeah. Rooms, he breaks down the fighters, and he, he almost gets it right on the money. Like, he's really good. But yeah. he breaks down that fight where Jan through the legal knee in the other organization. And it's just like, it's his exact same thing. Like, yeah. Jan is not. So look, I mean, I'm sorry. That, that, man, in like, there, that man in there to kill though. Yeah. I'm yeah. in the yeah. third yeah. round of the Izzy fight, bruh. He just got a, the beautiful takedown. <laughs> beautiful takedown. Yeah. He has his back right now. Just working him on the ground. Third round. He, he, he was making him a puppet right now. Has his yeah. back beating him up. Like, damn. And this at this point right now, it's three minutes in the round. I'm yelling at the TV, get your hook, <laughs> get your hooks yeah. in. Get your hooks yeah. in. Right. There was opportunities yeah. to slide that foot in there. Opportunities. Easily. Oh, there yes. were a lot. And so that's why, like, when I was frustrated afterwards and I was thinking, uh, Danny and I was like listening to the post pre- the post conference, and Danny was like, Maybe because he said like that his, his legs started him. bothering him uh, earlier yeah, in the yeah, fight. Yeah. And Danny was like, maybe that's why he didn't get that. Because it's mostly on the right leg that he's not mm-hmm. getting the hook in. And so Danny was like, maybe that's why he didn't put the hook in. Maybe he couldn't already, maybe he's already having issues with that leg by the time that that, uh, you know, that third round came along. Because I, I, for the life of me, I couldn't understand. I kept saying, get your other hook in and flatten mm-hmm. him out. Like, get yeah. your other hook in and flatten him out. And he wouldn't. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, yeah. What an amazing card, an amazing night of fights. I loved it. it I don't was... think another card is going to live up to this one for a while, honestly. Yeah, yeah, no. Because that that fight and the way that it ended and, like, now we have, like, some drama at middleweight because up until this, like, had Izzy won, who? Who was going to be able to yeah. mess with him? Like, there was nobody else in line that was going to be able to mess with him. So, you know, we're going to end up having the rematch uh, probably April, May-ish. Yeah. Um, because March is pretty much booked up. Sky, um, this is your fault, Sky. Because <laughs> you said that. <laughs> you said you wanted drama in the division. I did. It's your you did fault. That. Huh. I remember that. Let's I blame it on Sky. <laughs> I did. Because there was a part it's of me your who kind fault. of wanted Izzy to lose just because no! I wanted some I wanted something to happen. Like shake him up. No. Like, no. You know? No. <laughs> yeah, man, we needed something. We absolutely needed something. That fight was exciting. We'll see what ends up happening there. Um, looking into next week. Next week's gonna be a banger. I might be able to go to this fight this weekend. So, like, cross your fingers for me that I get to go because I'm gonna be going oh, yeah. crazy in there. You'll be in there, um, Scott. I got a question. I got a question about that. When they do um, 
the fight nights or whatever in Vegas, do they let like re- in the um in the Apex are regular fans able to go to those or no? Yeah, you gotta pay somebody's mortgage though. <laughs> oh, for reals? Just for like yeah. regular ass they- fights? Yeah, like the regular Apex, even like the ones where you're thinking, man, don't nobody want to go there. It mm-hmm. started off yeah. at 1600. It started what? off at 1600. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you right now, the best seating you will ever get. You will, I don't. It is the best seating you will ever get. So like, I seen Max Holloway and Yair yeah. Rodriguez there, um, and then obviously I've seen the Contender series, and those are all great. But it's the best seating you're gonna get. So hopefully we get to go. I'm excited to see. Uh, I go to those. I want to see uh, Ricky Tercios. Uh, this weekend. Yeah, so I like him. We'll mm-hmm. see. Um, oh, and the girl. Was... Remember the girl that you were talking about? She's on yeah, the spot right now, too. I mm-hmm. know. That's why I want to go. Like, I want to see her in person. I want to see if she's nasty on the feet like that. Like, I want to see that again. I went back and watched that fight, too. I don't know if y'all did, but go back and watch that fight. Because it. She, it was better than what I thought. I'm going to send you the links to, to make sure that you watch it, because it was amazing. I love Miles Johns, because I seen him on his Contender Series debut. Um, I was there for it, and so I, I like him, but you know th- this car oh, like, yeah. is more low key. Look at Jennifer Maya on the prelims, like damn, that's crazy. Why they doing her like that? Um, it, it's still gonna be a good card. I like Jack Della Maddalena, um, as well. But yeah, this week is coming up, but we definitely want to make sure that we went over UFC 281. Uh, recapping, Izzy has lost the crown, but he'll be back. Uh, he'll be back. He will be back. And we will be back too, uh, but it won't be now. <laughs> It'll be before Izzy and them. Izzy will be back. I, I enjoy get his belt every back. moment of that car, man. It was dope. Can't wait for the next one. The next one is uh, Derek Lewis, right? Yeah, that's yep. next weekend. But the next main event is a uh, Glover, or the next pay per view is Glover versus Yuri. Yeah. I do we'll have something to say that. though. So make sure on Friday, one FC is coming on and Bellator is coming on. Oh, Bellator is coming on. Let's go, Umar. Let's go, Usman. Yeah. Usman and Raga Uh oh. That that card should be okay. Because you know me, yeah. I've watched all MMA, but Bellator be tripping. And I do really, really, really love one FC. They're, it's super exciting. So if y'all fans, go and watch that. And most Absolutely. of y'all have Amazon Prime, so it's on your on your stuff anyway. Yes, yeah, sir. and we have uh, Anderson versus Nimkov. So the first one ended, I believe, in the second round with a little left to go, and um, Anderson was pretty much winning that fight. Had it been like literally three oh, seconds it, later, it was a he DQ, won that right? Fight. Yeah, it was a DQ. Yeah. But had it been three seconds later, like at the end of that round, he would have been the champion. So that's what they're going to be running back. Um, this what was Saturday. that? An eye poke? It was an eye poke or a groin, sh- a groin shot. I think it might have been an eye poll. I can't remember. I'm right? excited for yeah, the stock versus so. Sabatello too. Um, so yeah, there's some stuff going on. Thank you for reminding us about Bellator. Um, we'll definitely be checking that out. But until then, you guys stay happy, stay healthy, get wealthy, and uh, peace. Later. We'll see y'all. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>